Good morning and welcome to the podcast. My guest today is Major Tom Grace from the Salvation Army. He's Good. looking up at the camera because he's going to look like, are they, am I really on? Yeah, I didn't know if I, we were on yet. I mean, it yeah. was just kind of, we went from, I don't know what we went from, but here we are and we're on. Yeah, we were joking around yeah. a little bit before we start these. This is to get people relaxed before yep. they have to go through this grueling event yep. Uh, yep. with the host. But uh, yeah. Salvation Army, it's uh, the time of year now, December, where we are right now upon crunch time for the Red Kettle campaign, correct? No question. Uh, no question. We uh, will be out till December 23rd, excluding Sundays. Uh, and the Red Kettle campaign is also tied to our Christmas distribution. What we raise in okay. the Red Kettle campaign uh, helps pay uh, for our Christmas distribution. Um, at this point, uh, we're running neck and neck with last year. Uh, we have a huge day coming up, uh, and that will determine whether or not uh, we surpass ne uh, last year. But people have been kind. Uh, uh, we've had a lot of volunteer groups show up, and there's still opportunity for that. You know, or families that want to go out for a couple hours uh, and stand on one of our kettles. Uh, it's a great time for family uh, during the Christmas season to demonstrate giving back to the community and to people in need. Uh, but our camp kettle campaign is up and running, has been for about 15, 16 days now. Uh, and our goal is to reach 60,000. Okay, uh, that's the and, goal this year. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I'm hoping we have a couple of special days coming up this Saturday. Uh, we will have the Kiwanis Club out on our kettles. And our divisional headquarters has pledged to match all the cash that is in our kettles that day. Uh, no checks or anything like that, but all the cash. So making a gift on, uh, what, today's the 12th? Yes. 13, 14, 15, 16. On the 17th of December, um, uh, if you make a cash gift, it's going to be doubled. So that's a great opportunity for the people in our community because all the money raised in our kettles stay here in Crawford County and are used to serve people in Crawford County. That's a good point because a yeah. lot of people go, well, where does this money go? Right. That there answers your question. Yeah. It's going yeah. to stay local. Yeah, and we've had some uh, a lot of questions about our, our mail appeal campaign because the address uh, that the uh, donations are sent to is in Cincinnati. And the yeah. questions are, does that money, how much of that money comes back? All that money comes back. Uh, we are a very small operation, and we could not handle doing our own mail appeal campaign. So we contract that. Uh, the, the Salvation Army contracts that. Uh, and there, the Cincinnati address is a, a P.O. box that is swept, uh, and then the funds come directly to us. It saves us thousands of dollars. Well, I was going to say it's more efficient, therefore mm -hmm. saving money. If it saves money, that's more money that can be used for Apt. the uh, final absolutely uh, dave the end goal of helping you people absolutely dave and uh i can tell you dave that that our need is up significantly this year yeah. uh at, as we're speaking now we'll be serving nearly 400 uh for over 400 children uh and nearly 300 households this christmas and that's with toys food and gifts so that that's up significantly from last year well the demand is out there and uh, all across and as you know i serve on a number of yes. other boards and things that deal with this right. it's the same for seniors and everybody Absolutely. else right now there's a lot of food insecurity with people yeah they're just a lot of people are just basically barely making it for their food right and, and when we first arrived here dave uh, we do a program that, uh, it's assisted by the food bank for uh senior baskets we first arrived here uh we may have done 20 to 25 a month not now not now it's well over 60 a month they come monthly to pick up that senior food and of that 290 plus households 167 of them 67 of them are senior households um so uh, you know the challenge is there i you know i don't i'm not a prognosticator nor an, uh, nor an economist but i do know this on this end of things it's hurting, it's hurting. and uh, uh we in the salvation army and so many in this community uh feel a need to respond to that 
Yes, yes, absolutely. And uh, and I, as I pointed out with somebody else uh, on another podcast dealing with seniors, is mm-hmm. that seniors are not the type that's going to come and ask for help. No, nope. so no, nope. they they will go without food. Right. Yeah, and they're making and a lot of. Them. And they're making difficult choices. Yes. Do I get my medication? Do I do I get my food? Uh, and those are choices that people should not have to be making at that age. Yes. And so uh, there are so many fine organizations in this community. Yes. And as we band together, uh, we can better address those kinds of needs. And, and collaboration is critically important for social service agencies. The Salvation Army can't do it all. We can't do a fourth of it. Uh, We need, and we do, work with other organizations to kind of put a better, I don't want to say package, but but to serve better the people who have need. And I I think dignity is the big word here. And you've already said it, seniors don't want to ask. Uh, So when it becomes that difficult that they have to ask, it's our responsibility as service providers to maintain their dignity. Well, there's a network. Yes. I think that's the word I would want to yes. use is a network of people that are trying to do this. Mm-hmm. And uh, and I will also, I was uh, impressed uh, because I served at mm-hmm. your Thanksgiving uh, yes. when there at, the, I, at that event. Mm-hmm. And I was, one thing that really impressed me is the people were grateful. Oh, yes. I was kind of expecting, well, I wonder mm-hmm. how some of these people are going to be kind because of, some right. people kind of feel like they're really entitled. You owe me this. No, there are there was, those. There, there are some, but right. it was not there that evening that I was there. Yeah, I right. mean, the people were very grateful. I could tell yeah. they were very grateful to receive what they received. Yeah, and you know what, Dave? The, the bottom line is that uh, we're called to serve. Yes. God sorts out yeah. everything else. Yeah, that's not our job it's to not serve. not our job to serve. Uh, and so we continue to serve. And um, we are so thankful for this community. Uh, we, you know, we have so much and so many irons in the fire right now, Dave. We have oh, yeah. facility that we're raising, we'll be raising money for a new facility, well, a, a, a restored facility. We have so many irons in the fire, but I get on some days uh, to to be amazed by the number of people who show up to volunteer. Mm-hmm. They give their time, and the reason they're giving their time is not because they want to be noticed. It's because they want to give back. And that is the best kind of service. Well, I tell people if you, you know, show me where your time, talent, and treasure are gone, yeah. and that tells me it locates you where you are at. That's, it, and that is absolutely true. And, and uh, between our women's auxiliary, our advisory board, uh, people calling and saying, like you did on Thanksgiving, I want to be a part of that. Uh, it, it's just such a privilege to, to watch that happen. And we can't est- underestimate the value of that. We have a very small staff. There's five of us. And for us to entertain the possibility of serving 400-plus uh, children with five of us, that's an impossibility. Yeah, that was the word I was just going to use. That yeah. is right. Unless we started in February for the next year. Yeah. I mean, that would be the only way yeah. we can do it. Uh, our angel trees, the tags have been flying off of our angel trees. Uh, we've seen an incredible increase in the number of families who have bought for other families. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's time for one of br- the slogans of, of Bucyrus, Ohio, is that we take care of our own because mm-hmm. we do. We See, do. what this is nice is you're not originally from here. Mm-hmm. So you, you're coming in from other places, and then you come here and you see the community. Absolutely. So you, you can give us a little gauge on mm-hmm. some things, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that maybe sometimes when you live here you don't see it. Exactly. And we take, you know, it's easy for us to take things for granted. Yeah. Oh, yeah, everybody You know, does. we all do it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I take for granted that I'm going to have a cup of coffee every morning and my wife's going to make it for me. And she does. So... You know, that's a small thing, but there is so much roof, uh, roof over our head, food on the table, heat, heat, yeah. heat there is so much. And uh, we do what we do because uh, we want to serve Christ. That's the bottom line, yeah. Dave. And Christ served in material ways as well, his very first miracle, right. very first miracle. Right. Uh, so uh, this community is, is just incredible. Well... Maybe we should do, kind of do what I call the come around. Okay. Which means uh, we'll go back just again because we're going to about, okay, let's go back, Red Kettle Campaign, mm-hmm. 
Saturday, December 23rd is the end the, of the campaign. The end of the campaign, it en- yes. It ends that day, correct? Right, right. I we, believe it's a Saturday. Right. We don't put our kettles out on Sunday. Okay, so Saturday, <laughs> December 3rd is it. But now, uh, I wanted you to reemphasize what you said about this Saturday coming up and right. that, because that's a biggie, because right. there's a bonus in there. There in absolutely way, is. The organization. Please Co- restate what you sure. said earlier. Kiwanis Club will be standing at all of our locations. And every bit of cash that is placed in each of those kettles will be matched by our divisional headquarters. Okay, and that's on this? So you get this, yeah, the 17th. Okay, this Saturday. You get uh, double your gift. All right, so if you want to double that up, Saturday might might be a good day to put your donation in the kettle. Absolutely, and since I'm a Kiwani, and then there's a competition between Kiwanis and Rotary every year, um, not that I, we appreciate you coming out anytime, yeah. but on Kiwanis Day would be great. But you know what? Whether you're Kiwanis, Rotarian, or whatever, right? I see your money's still green, and, yeah. it, can still, and it can still do some good. Yeah, absolutely, well, we're yeah. so thankful for the, the for both clubs, yeah. Kiwanis and Rotary, and uh, you know it's an annual tradition, and we we're thankful for it. All right, I think on that positive note, we'll just say the time is still ahead of us mm-hmm. here. But mm-hmm. now's the time for people, if you haven't stepped up, to step up if you can do. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Uh, everything will be used wisely. And the demand is great, I can assure you. I don't need to be in the Salvation Army to mm-hmm. see that the demand is great. Absolutely. Uh, of all the people that I'm around, and I, you know, like I said, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm out. I have a pretty good pulse for what's going on. And I'm like you right now. People are really hurting. Yes. And I'm not hurting. Like, well, I just, it's not for their need or for their greeds. It's for their needs. Absolutely. Basic needs. We're, we're talking about basic human yeah. needs. Yeah. All right. I want to thank again uh, Major Tom Grace from the Salvation Army. Say hi to your wife. I know she's out busy this morning doing yeah. things as well. Getting ready for the distribution yes. tomorrow. And there's a lot going on. So yeah. thank you so I much will. again for your time. Thanks, Dave. Bless you. I uh, trust that this will go very well and that you shatter your record. Thank you, Dave. And Merry Christmas to 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 you you and to the community. Thank you. Thank you.